Sector area and arc length, what you're going to be doing is finding the area of a section of a circle called a sector. And in this circle, the sector is 30 degrees. You're going to find the area of this region right there. Then you're going to find the length of this arc from A to B. Not the measure in degrees, but the actual length in feet or centimeters or meters or inches, whatever you're measuring in. To do that, we take a fraction of the circle. Take your angle, whatever it is, and put it over 360. It's that fraction of the entire area and that fraction of the circumference. In this case, that fraction is 30 over 360. Both of these divide by 30. If we divide by 30, we get 1. If we divide by 30, we get 12. 30 360 is 1 12th of the circle. Some fractions are a little more difficult to reduce than others to simplify them. So remember that you can always punch it in Desmos. This is from Desmos right here. Plug it in and then hit the fraction, this little circle bar right here and it'll reduce the fraction for you. So the first thing you do is figure out that fraction of the circle. Now, if you're taking a half of something, you multiply it by half. One half of 12, one half times 12 is six. If you're taking two thirds of something, you'll multiply it by two thirds. For example, two thirds of 12, two thirds times 12 is eight. So to take a 12th of something, we multiply it by a 12th. We are going to take 1 12th of the area and 1 12th of the circumference. The area is the, a number of squares inside, and the circumference is the distance around the circle. The area of the sector will be equal to 1 12th of the circle, 1 12th of pi times the radius squared. In this case, the radius is 6, 6 squared. This will be equal to 1 12th times 36 pi. 12 goes into 36 three times. 3 pi, then, is our answer. Sometimes it'll ask for the answer exactly, which would be 3 pi, or sometimes it might ask to be rounded to the tenth. Plug it in the calculator, round it to the tenth. In this case, we get about to the tenth 9.4. This is exact. This is to the tenth. To find the distance along the arc from A to B, we want one twelfth of the circumference, one twelfth of two times pi times the radius, which is 6 in this case. Now this stuff is all over 1, so we have 2 times 6, 12 pi over 12, and the 12's cancel, that leaves us with pi, which to the 10th is about 3.1. Keep in mind, pi is the exact length of that arc, and 3.1 is our approximated length. The last thing to keep in mind is your units. If the radius had been six feet, area is measured in squares. The exact area would have been three pi feet squared, the rounded 9.4 feet squared, and the length is not measured in squares. If it was six feet for a radius, then it would be pi feet or 3.1 feet for the length of the arc. Here are some example questions from your assignment. Find the length of the arc, the length outlined in blue, given a central angle of 71 degrees and a radius of 13 feet. We're doing the length of the arc, which means we're talking about circumference. Circumference is 2 pi times the radius. Our angle is 71 degrees, so the length of the arc
will be 71 three sixtieths times two times pi times the radius of 13. We'll put this in Desmos. To the nearest tenth, we get about 16.1. Keep in mind, only area is measured in squares. So our label here is feet. Question four. They didn't give us the picture. And you really don't need a picture. But the idea is we're finding the area of this section. And we know the radius is five feet. And that this angle here is 68 degrees. We know that it is 68 three sixtieths of the circle. You can reduce that first if you like. Since you're going to put this in Desmos, you really don't even have to reduce it. But I did it in Desmos. Uh, you just punch in 68 divided by 360 and hit the little fraction button. And it's 17 ninetieths. We're finding the length of the arc, which means we're talking about circumference, 2 pi times the radius. So our arc length is equal to 17 ninetieths of the circle times 2 times pi times the radius of 5. Plug that in Desmos. And to the nearest tenth, that's about 5.9. Question 5. The difference in question 5 is we're going to give our answer in terms of pi, which is going to be exact. There won't be any rounding here. Our central angle is 50 degrees, so we're dealing with 53 60ths of the circle. If we divide both of those by 10, we get 536 of the circle we're talking about. This is 536 of the circle. Our arc length then is 536 times 2 times pi times the radius of 8. This stuff is over 1. Keep in mind we're not putting this in the calculator other than you could reduce the fraction if you want. What I would do is cancel uh, before you do anything. These two divide by 2, and I get 1 and 18. 18 and 8 divide by 2, and I get 4 and 9. I get then 5 times 1 times 4, which is 20 pi over 9. 9 times 1. You can also write this as 20 over 9 and put your pi off to the side. Keep in mind if you write it that way, understand why they're the same. 20 over 9 pi is 20 over 9 times pi over 1 because if there's nothing underneath it you can put a 1 which of course is the same thing as 20 pi over 9. Putting it off to the side, it's still over 1, which means it's really up top. The exact answer then is 29th pi. Question 8. They don't give us a picture again. And notice that they say leave your answer in terms of pi. Again, we're going to have the exact answer here. Our sector has a central angle of 40 degrees. We're talking about 40 three of the circle. It's probably a good idea to reduce that because we're going to have our answer exact and let's make things easier. Both of these divide by 40. You get 1 and 9. We're talking about 1 ninth of the circle. So the arc length, we're talking about circumference again, 2 pi r is going to be 1 ninth of 2 times pi times the radius, which is 8 feet. This is over 1. We have 16 over 9 pi, or you could say 16 pi over 9. These are the same thing. 
Notice that 16 and 9 don't have any common factors, so that is the simplified, the reduced answer. The center of a circle with diameter 6 feet has an arc length of 10 feet. What is the central angle of that sector? The diameter is 6, that's all the way across the circle, which makes the radii 3. Now I have no idea what the angle is, but it's going to be some part of the circle, and we're going to call that x degrees. This may not be to scale, it's just to give you an idea what we're doing. We know that this is 10 feet. And we know that we're talking about circumference, which is 2 pi r. To find this, remember what we do, we take our angle, we put it over 360. It's that fraction of the circle times 2 pi times the radius, which is 3, and we know that when we multiply and we take that fraction of the circumference, we get 10 feet. This is over 1. If we simplify this, we get 6 pi times x over 360 equals 10. We can cancel here and divide by 6, and we get 1 and 60. So we have pi x over 60 equals 10. Now I would get rid of fractions, multiply each side by 60. And pi times x equals 600. And we'll divide by pi. And we'll round that to the 10th. And x is our angle. I plug 600 divided by pi into Desmos. We're going to round that to the 10th. The 8 bumps the 9 to a 10, and it's 191.0. You don't have to put the 0, but that does show that you round it to the 10th. 191.0 degrees. This time we're going to find the area. We're using a different formula. We know that area is pi times the radius squared. But the process is exactly the same. The area of this sector is equal to, it's 56 360 that fraction of the circle, times pi times the radius squared. And we're rounding this to the tenth, so just put that in Desmos. Here it is typed into Desmos, and we're rounding to the tenth again. This is 1.9, but the 5 bumps the 9 to a 10, and we get 2.0, or 2, uh, square units, or square feet, whatever you might have. No picture, but again, we're finding the area of a sector, and we know to find the area of the sector, we just need to figure out what fraction of the circle it is. It's 22 360 a very small section of the circle. And it's area we're talking about. And we know area is pi times the radius squared. So times pi times 7 squared. Plug that into Desmos. To the nearest tenth, that would be 9.4. And it's feet. And this is area, feet squared. In question 14, we're finding the exact answer. Our central angle is 20 degrees. That would be 20 360ths of the circle. It'd probably be a good idea to reduce that first, 20 over 360. Just because we're going to get the exact answer, it'll make it easier. Both of those divide by 10. And you get 2 over 36, which both divide by 2, and you get 1 over 18. It's 1 18th of the circle. We'll erase this. Put 1 18th. And pi times the radius squared. Keep in mind, 18 squared is 18 times 18. The reason I wrote it this way is because the 18s, one of them, is going to cancel. 18 divided by 18 is 1. 
Looks like I get 18 pi over 1 or 18 pi. In question 17, we're leaving our answer in terms of pi. Our angle is 36 degrees. That's 36 three sixtieths of the circle, which would be one tenth of the circle. The area of the sector then is one tenth of pi r squared. Got nine squared. This is eighty one over ten pi. Remember, you can write that as 81 pi over 10 also. 81 and 10 have no common factors. This then is my answer, feet squared. Question 18. We're going to find the area of the region indicated in blue. This is called a segment of the circle. When we cut off a triangle there, a segment of the circle. To do this, we need to take the sector and subtract the area of the triangle. This is going to involve trig. Let's find the area of the sector first. The area of the sector will be 109 pi times 1.5 squared. Now, I'm not going to work this out yet because then I'd have to round it, and it's not a good idea to round your answer until you get to the very end. But this is what I punch in to find the area of the sector. I need to find the area of that because to find the area of the segment, the region in blue, I need to take the sector and subtract the area of that triangle. First thing I did was take half of 109 degrees, which was 54.5. So this angle is 54.5 and this angle is also 54.5. Notice that from here to here is a radius and again you get a radius on the other side e too. We're talking about that there and that there. We know that this is 1.5. Same thing here, 1.5. That's the radius. What we need to find the area of a triangle, the area of a triangle is one half its base times its height. We need the base and the height. This is going to be a little tricky. Let's call this x and let's call this y. Now the area of that triangle will be one half the base, which by the way is going to be two of those y's times the height, which is going to be my x. Just need to figure out my x and my y, and then I'll be able to find the area. This involves trigonometry. Notice that, change colors here, that my angle here is 54.5, and that y is the opposite, and 1.5, this is an altitude I dropped, is the hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse is sine, so the sine of 54.5 is equal to y over 1.5. And if we cross multiply, y then will equal 1.5 times the sine of 54.5. We can do the same thing and find x. Look at my angle here. X is the adjacent. Adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. The cosine of 54.5 is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, which is X over 1.5. That over 1 and cross multiply. X will equal 1.5 times the cosine of 54.5. Now what we need to do is take the area of the sector, that's the whole piece of the circle, the 109 360s of the circle, and subtract out the triangle, and that will give me the segment here. So we'll take this and subtract 1 half base times height. 
the area of the sector is right here minus the area of the triangle one half the base now keep in mind the base is not y the base goes from here to here which is another y it's 2y one half the base one half two times whatever y is and we have that right there 1.5 sine 54.5 so one half the base which is two of the y's your decimal there one half the base times the height so this is the base and this is the height x was the height punch that into desmos here it is in desmos that was a lot to type in Round to the tenth, it's about 1.1 square units. Don't forget to put Desmos in degrees. You got to work in degrees, or you're going to get the wrong answer. Question 20. We have a circle. And it has a diameter of 20 miles, which means the radius is 10. It's a sector, and we don't know if this is a scale or not, but it has an area of 192 square miles. Now I want to find the central angle. I'm going to call it x degrees. I know that to get the area of a sector, I take my angle, put it over 360, and then I multiply by pi r squared. I know the area of the sector is 192. I don't know the angle. I know the pi and the r squared would be 10 squared. Just going to solve this for x. This is 192 equals 100 pi times x over 360. You can reduce this if you like. Divide by 10 and you get 10 and 36. Divide by 2 and you get 5 and 18. So I have 192 equals 5 pi x over 18. Now I would get rid of fractions and multiply both sides by 18. That'll cancel over there. 18 times 192 is 3,456, and that equals 5 pi times x. I'll divide by 5 pi, and I get about x is to the 10th, 220.0, so 220 degrees, 0 degrees. The 0 shows that you rounded to the 10th. It's not a bad thing.